New dynamic products that are helping save people's lives and improve people's lives. When you're making brand new medical components, you need to make sure you can be dynamic and flexible. And that's why we've come to Lawrence Engineering. Now, James, first of all, what kind of companies do Lawrence Engineering work with? And you export to a lot of different companies, don't you? Yeah, we work with uh, blue chip medical device companies all over the world, locally here, because the west of Ireland is uh, known for its medical device sector, but we ship to Canada, America, Central America, Spain, Lithuania, UK, Germany, India, that all across the globe. That is a massive list of countries. Yeah. We're, in, yeah. we're in a small part of the west, west coast of Ireland, kind mm -hmm. of northwest coast of Ireland. It's amazing the amount of technology they've got here in this, in this, in this unit. Um, and you guys are exporting, you're obviously doing something right. Um, but what kind of parts are you exporting? What is the character of the customers that you're dealing with day to day? What are they like? They're um, demanding, demanding uh, <laughs> medical device companies. I'm sure people can probably relate yeah, to that. Yeah. <laughs> um, we deal with the top level blue chip uh, manufacturers, but we also deal with R&D startups, early stage development, all, all, across, all across that range. And what kind of products are those companies developing? They're developing new, new dynamic products that are helping save people's lives and improve people's lives. And we've got an example part over there. If you go and grab that, please, James. Now, this is an example. Um, this is a, a four impression mold, if I can get that right, yeah. um, for some kind of medical part. Now, how would you make this kind of traditionally if it was, let's say, 10 years ago, didn't have the brand new tech on the market? How would you make this normally? In the past, we would have had to square up this billet of steel. We would have had to do a lot of pre-machining. Uh, drilling the holes, uh, prepping the actual part itself, send it out for hardening, maybe while well, it was out for hardening then you'd be starting to get your electrodes ready, a lot of EDM, all that when it comes back from hardening then starting getting your electrodes, putting them into the putting them into the metal. After that, then you'll be hand polishing. So that, that could take up to four weeks, maybe six weeks. These moulds are really hard to make. And traditionally, they would be taking four weeks, as you mentioned. Yeah. Now, if you were to bring that process back to the, into 2023 this year, into the modern times, how would you make that today? So what we can do today, because of the capabilities of Lawrence Engineering, we don't need to send this out for hardening now. We can do an awful lot of our machining in the hair, which means we can reduce the lead times down to one to two weeks in some cases. And what exactly about the machine allows you to do that. I mean, you've got, if we, you describe the component, you've got little slots, loads of weird features. Um, what kind of processes are you running every day that you couldn't do on a different kind of machine tool? Well, what the rotors allows us to do is uh, we can use really small micro cutters and we can run them at a really high feed rate and a really high spindle speed and we can get into all them small little features and, and really high, high quality finish with high accuracy. Absolutely, and those high speed of speed need, means you need the cutting speed, and that then gives you that, like you say, the finish that's so critical to these kinds of components. But it's not just a five axis machine and a three axis machine, you've got in between them, you've got some automation yeah, here as well. Yeah, yeah. Now, how does that help you with, with running these parts off, reducing turnaround times, and making your life easier? So, if you take this part, for example, you'll have the top and the bottom. Um, we can set it up during the day, uh, we can get the programs proven out, we can put them parts on a pallet and we can run them through the night then. So we come in the next morning, both the top and the half, top and bottom half are done, ready to go and move on to the next stage of manufacturing. Uh, that would have taken, in the past, that would have taken three days. We're getting that done in a 24 hour cycle.